good day. This is Tado Franco Seva doing another video. <clears throat> Today's video is going to be on some of the important trees and their uses in Palo Mayombe. I've been having, I've had more than a couple um, requests about this, so I figured I'd take out the time and do a small video. First and foremost, let me just say that I do not claim to have the absolute truth. Alright, so let me, let's talk about a few very important palos. I mean, there's so many to talk about, but I chose these palos for their importance, especially when it comes to the cauldron. Um, the first one, you might have guessed it, is going to be the Saba. Besides the fact that I get my I get my name from this wonderful um, tree, it is extremely. It's one of the most sacred trees in the religion. She is uh, the mother of all of us religious people in this beautiful religion called Palo Mayombe. So let's just get that. She is our mother, no mother, no matter who you are, Gayo. Tata, yeah, yeah, whatever the case may be. And also, all of the Mpungos claim this sacred, sacred tree. They, they, that's where you go. That's why so many ceremonies are done with her. Because you get to harness all that power all in one place. Now, the Seba can be used for any types of work. Both evil and good. It's just the power that this tree harnesses some some parts of it you harness more towards the good jobs while other parts you harness it more towards the evil but, but whichever work you're doing I guarantee you if you do everything correctly pay homage to her give her her offerings and do everything by the book it's a wrap I mean I don't care if it's good or bad whatever whatever you're doing is gonna it's gonna work now the second is Hague. Now this tree can be used to cure someone or simply to kill somebody. That's also a very important tree. The third one is the Tenge. Now this tree, out of all of them, out of so many of them, it's known more like the witch of all the Palos that are used in this beautiful religion called Palo Mayurmbe. And it can be used for any types of work. Again, that's an, and that's a, a very important tree. Now, the fourth one, the Yaya. Some people call it Buscabuya, depending on what Rama, whatever the case may be, but the Yaya. This tree is extremely important in Mayurmbe itself. Because this is the tree that you use to reverse any type of black magic. Return to sender. So, now all these four trees that I mentioned, they must, there's no way around this. They must go inside of a cauldron during its construction. These particular four. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about the fifth one. Paraiso. This tree is excellent for cleansings, um, for protection, and for good luck itself. But especially for spiritual cleansings, baths, whether you're using the leaves of it to get, get, to get a cleansing, or you're doing a spiritual bath, whatever the case may be, that is the tree that you want. Now, like I said, there's many more. I'm going gonna, gonna to talk about only one more because I'm not trying to do a long video. I'm just trying to relate some of the information that the, some of the viewers want. So, let's talk about the, the last one. Uh, the sixth one, Quita Maldición. This tree, from its roots to its leaves, is used to cure and remove bad luck, curses... When we think of, of a tree, 
to do nothing but good works in this religion, this is the tree that will come to mind first and foremost on everybody's mind because that is the tree that you're after if you're doing these types of work. I mean, this tree, there's nothing, it's nothing for good. So whatever types of good works you're doing, that is the tree you want to harness, whether it's his roots, the tree, the leaf, the seeds, whatever the case may be. That is what you need. So uh, please like, share, uh, subscribe, and stay humble and be kind to one another. And until next time, may assembly bless you and yours. Assalamu alaikum.